My name is Dr. William Livingstone, and I am going to take you on an exploration to discover one of the last Indian tribes that still exists today. And we're going to explore how they live in their wilderness. I will now begin my interview with this Indian child, as you can see, living in her teepee out in the wilderness. What is your name, child? My name is Wakatui. Wakatui. Good to meet you, Wakatui. Can you tell me a little bit about your lifestyle and how you live out here in the wilderness? Aha! Uh -huh. I'll translate that a little bit better, please. So, in the wilderness, you don't have the amenities that we have. Amenities? Um, let's, let's rephrase that. How do you live out here in the wilderness? Ah, how do, how do you live? eat? How do you find food? Ah, we eat chicken. I love chicken. Chicken, I take stick, I knock it up unconscious. <laughs> oh, in chicken, chicken in our language. Chicken in our language. Mama, stop! <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Incredible. I tell you. Why? I, I kill you. Why do you knock the chicken unconscious? I knock it unconscious because I am not so good at bow arrows. Oh. So, Is that something that your family learned how to do and you just didn't gain the skill? Yes, yes. Yes. So tell me more about the chicken. What 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 do you do after you knock it unconscious? Well, before we kill it by knocking it out unconscious, because they they little birds and this big stick. Uh, before we pray for the chicken, because before I was born and my parents were born a missionary. Uh, like like teaches about God. Uh, he Very came. Good. He came here. Uh, and, and, and my grand, grandparents, they, they learned about Christ, and he's super cool. And, and, and they teach me. So before, we pray for the chicken so that he go to heaven and, and not hell, because nobody likes hell. But doesn't it eventually end up in your stomach? Yes, it is, but the spirit. Oh, the spirit of the chicken. It arrives in the heavens yes, as like soon as you knock it die. unconscious. As soon we as go. you knock it unconscious, it lands in the but, heavens. But, the spirit does. But when we knock it out unconscious. And the flesh lands in your plate. Yes, yes. yes. Well, you don't use plates. No, no, no. We use leaves. Leaves. Okay, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And, 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 and the bone of the animal we use as utensils. We gotta be careful that we don't poke ourselves. Because they're very sharp. When we sharpen them, they're very sharp. Yes, indeed. Chicken bones are very sharp, indeed. So tell me, how do you prepare the chicken after you knock it unconscious and the spirit gets to the heavens and his body makes it to where? What do you do with it next? Well, we go and we put it by the fire for about an hour. Is the fire like this one here that you've already prepared? Yeah, fire very, very cool. Fire very cool. Fire very hot too. You touch it and you burn and die and you go to heaven. It's very, 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 very hot. And it very sounds dangerous, intense. But so cool. Very <laughs> cool. But yeah, we prepare fire and we put chicken on fire the fire let's look at this fire very closely you have already prepared it with some really nice wood it's burning really really nice nice and hot and you put the chicken in there for one hour you said yes how, how do you how do you check it i mean how do you know when an hour is up you guys don't wear watches no no we watch uh, so so this here 
This here would be a watch. See this? <gasps> See this tells time. <gasps> oh my god. Yes. How does it do that? Um, it's a uh, battery powered. A battery? What battery? It's kind of like a spirit, except it's actually working inside the watch, <gasps> and it tells it to you move time. You could spirit in the watch. <gasps> well, it's kind of hard to explain. It's kind of like modern day stuff. Modern day? <gasps> oh, I can okay, tell I, my parents okay. right away. Let, let, let's, let's, let's calm it down a bit. Let, let's talk about your parents. Let's talk about your history. Uh, how, wait, wait. Yes. I want to tell about my, my knocker after chicken maker. Yes, please tell me all about your knocker after chicken maker. So, so people don't get grossed out about blood on knocker after. Uh, we go and, and I, I go and I spread blood all over. So no one know that blood on staff. Uh -huh. That's very good. That's very, very good. Very, very good. So you want to know about me parents? Yes. Tell me all about your parents. My parents gave birth to me. Oh, really? Yeah. That is amazing. Yeah. Wow. Well, that <laughs> that is quite interesting. And so once you are here, what is your purpose? It's, it's, uh... They call me what my name means. My name means nothing. <laughs> it means nothing, nothing at all. But but I think my name pretty good. Um, but uh, I do not have no purpose because my name means nothing. So um, yeah, I have I have no purpose. But uh, I kill chickens and I like the food. And and sometimes we could get some like leaves that are nice and they they crunchy and you eat it with the chicken and and they're pretty cool, pretty very pretty good. Delicious. Well, thank you so much for interviewing with us today. I really appreciate your time and the opportunity to get to know you and your tribe and 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 the special things that you do with chicken. It is amazing how you knock it unconscious all the way to the heavens chicken, very good. and chicken, onto good your plate. For mine and soul. Yes, chicken. good for mine and soul. Thank chicken. you very much. Well, I hope you enjoyed the episode today with our Indian friend, um, black water, wood, fire, and uh, chickens, lots of chickens. Uh, this is Dr. William Livingstone checking out and telling you ready for the next adventure.